My name is Rochelle Richard Collette. I'm the executive director of the Booktush Farmers Market, and I'm also the co-founder from 23 years ago. So I have a lot of history and uh, and ups and downs, and live the life of the market. And I'm so happy to be back with this new market. So this market, the Booktush Market, started in 1999. It was impressive from day one. We started mid January, mid January planning. We had community meetings, we polled the farmers, we did uh, all the architectural work, construction, and it opened on July 3rd in 1999. So that is the start of the Booktush Farmers Market. This market burnt down in the middle of the night, mid-July 2015. Burned on a Thursday night. On the Saturday morning, two vendors were back with bread and crafts in the parking lot just to show the community that they were there and it, they just continued every week. A few more came, a few more came, and um, they operated temporarily in a parking lot with a few tents until the end of the season. Then in the fall 2015, we started all over again. But, you know, perseverance when you believe in the cause and, and the passion and to support local. This is an ecosystem of farmers, producers, artisans, you know, food culinary artists. It's, it's critical and the, you know, what it means for a community, but it has to be done properly. So in the end, uh, with the Irvings as a partner and some government support in the town of Baktouche, this was rebuilt and opened uh, mid-July 2018. And um, we had a phenomenal first seasons, 2018, 2019, you know, 30,000 people in the summer, 45,000 in 2019, and then the pandemic hit which was a big challenge and in 2020 our traffic fell to one-third of the traffic but you know what's impressive with that because of the movement and the vigilance and doing all of this work the shoppers still purchased they came here to support so with a third of the traffic they purchased 65 percent of the sales from 2019. We have been following the Slow Food International Movement, which is over 30 years old, started in Italy, 160 countries, and the principle is good, clean, and fair. And they have a movement that is earth markets, and we are the first slow food earth market in Canada since December 2019. The second thing that distinguishes our market is that we, are, we really embrace the zero waste movement. So especially zero food waste, being a market where we have a lot of traffic, there could be 2,000 people in five hours, that's generating you know, more waste on site. So what we do, we have a lot of education, we have sorting stations to properly sort, that's the first thing. We have some of our staff who are there guiding people how to sort, so it's very educational too. We do demos in our kitchen and we also process some items and we're building up this as a social enterprise to be able to get more resources but to really build this for the long term. For the long term, for the good of the community and the vendors, but but younger generations too. I mean, that's that's the ultimate ultimate goal for it to continue, of course. Buy local for good, because it's really good. <laughs>